Today on our segment of life in the early colonial days, and this actually predates that by a few centuries, this is called the deadfall trap, made out of everything you can find right in the wilderness. It only takes about a good 15 minutes to find the pieces you need and set it up. The way this works is you have the number four trigger system, which I'll show you how that works in a second and how to cut it. You have two uprights because you want to guide your main log straight down on top of the quarry. And when that log falls, on a much larger scale, of course, this is probably good for a chipmunk. But anyways, uh, it'll knock out, your, knock out your next dinner. The animal does is come along and choose on this stick. Now you usually have a pretty, boom. You usually have the bait stuck pretty well on that stick so they have to nibble on it pretty good. Unfortunately, I make my trigger systems a little too tight. And having made this trigger system yesterday, the, the, the sticks are green. But as you can see, log falls straight down and takes out your quarry. And as I said, this is on a much smaller scale. And as you can see, the two uprights. Now the trigger system is fairly simple. You have your bait stick, you cut an angle into one end, and you cut a flat about two thirds of the way across. You have your the top of your number four, as you can see, the top of the number four, the angle here would go in here, such as that. And you have another notch cut up here. And then you have your upright stick that has a flat cut in the side and an angle on top. Okay, now the angle on top would go in your top notch angle. Let me set this up correctly. Okay, the top notch goes in here. Angle right there goes in there. And then your two flats made up, thus creating a number four. Very simple, takes a little bit to goof around with if you haven't messed with them. But for today, that's a deadfall trap and they were very commonly used, especially when you didn't have uh, a pack basket full of traps such as they had in the, in the 1800s, because uh, steel traps really weren't widely used until later on. There was a lot of snares, especially for beaver and muskrat, they would use a lot of snares because you could find the runway underwater and snare them underwater and they would drown. But that's it for today. 18th century trapping in the wilderness. When you had nothing else, you could always make do. And there were quite a few of these used. All right, folks, enjoy your day.